So what's going on guys? Odd Man 105, aka the Odd One, is back. And in this video, we're going to be comparing the Air Freight Cargo Cell missions to the CEO Special Cargo Cell missions to determine whether or not Air Freight Cargo is even worth it in 2022. Now, as you guys are aware, this event week, all Air Freight Cargo Cell missions are paying out double cash and RP. In addition to that, all hangars are on sale at 40% off to include their upgrades and modifications. So whether you're just looking for a place to store your aircraft like me, or you're looking to get into the Smuggler's Run DLC, then this is a great opportunity for you to purchase a hangar. Now, as previously mentioned, what we're going to do is compare a hangar cell mission to a CEO Special Cargo cell mission. But before we can do that, we have to add some crates to this uh, hangar. So we're going to compare this with a small CEO crate warehouse, which holds a maximum of 16 crates. So we're going to add 16 crates to the hangar and complete a cell mission. And from there, we'll tabulate the total amount of earnings at double cash for both. So let's get started. Okay, guys, now this is my first time sourcing cargo for the hangar here. And uh, again, what we're going to do is put 16 crates in and sell them. So we can source any one of these, but apparently mission difficulty will scale with the type of cargo being sourced. So let's start with, uh, it can be any one of them. Let's start with narcotics. And we'll confirm <clears throat> and let's give it a try. I got this one. A chopper carrying what we're looking for just went down. All you need to do is find it and pick up the cargo before the Mexican Mafia does. Easy, right? Yeah? Real easy. Yeah, it's easy for him to say. All right, let's go do this. We have 30 minutes to complete it. Okay, guys, I decided to pick up my Mark II oppressor because that's going to make this a ton easier. So we have to find a crashed chopper. We gotta be looking for smoke. Yeah, this is a pretty big forest. Okay, found it. Okay, we just picked it up. And that's why you want an Oppressor Mark II out here, because they're not going to catch us. Let's get this thing back to Fort San Cudo. Okay, we're back at the hangar. Okay, that wasn't too terribly difficult, but again, I was using an Oppressor. Okay, so that's one crate. All right, let's keep sourcing. We need to get a total of 16 crates in here. Ron, what do you want? That's how it's done. It's such a pleasure to be working in a professional outfit. Finally. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> wow, that was kind of a dig at Trevor, wasn't it? I'm sorry, Trevor. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, guys, so after more than an hour's time and eight total source missions, we've only gotten eight crates in our uh, hangar warehouse here. So we're going to sell at eight crates. The time to money ratio is not here with sourcing uh, cargo for the hangar business. So we're just going to stop here at eight total and sell, and then we'll tally up the total earnings from there. So let's have a seat. And log on to the computer again. So let's go to sell. Now we have a total of $160,000 at double money, mind you, of cargo in our warehouse. So if this were single cash, this would only be $80,000 for eight crates. So you guys can pretty much see where this is going, but we're going to sell all cargo now. And uh, let's see how difficult this is. Yes, we don't care about that. Just sell it. Okay. Okay then. If we can't beat our deep state surveillance squad, we can at least make life difficult for them by not staying still too long. Use the cargo bob to drop containers right onto the buyer's truck. Then let's hope the money isn't traced.
Okay, so where's the cargo? It's over there, okay. <laughs> and again, some of these missions can be problematic. But we'll go through this in real time so we can see exactly how difficult these delivery missions are. So we've got two containers I can see. Shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, and we have 30 minutes to complete this, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get attacked along the way, but let's uh, go through it anyway. So how are you guys doing today? How is everyone out there? You guys doing okay? Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. Again, this is my first ever cell mission from the uh, Smuggler's Run DLC. Again, normally I don't uh, manage my hangar business. I only have the hangar to store my aircraft, and that's it. Okay, it looks like we're coming up on the truck now. Okay, good, it's stationary, so this should be fairly easy. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Alright, let's get the next uh, container. Okay. Yeah, this is so far so good. That is if I don't crash the helicopter. Okay, here's our second uh, drop-off. Same dude, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so if we return the helicopter to the hangar, we get a bonus. But we've only got five minutes to do it. Thanks, Ron. Alright, let's land this thing and see how much we've earned. Okay, so Ron takes a cut of 4,000. We get a bonus of 10,000, I'm sorry, 1,000 RP. So, based on the numbers, we have $156,000 from that sale mission. You did it! We did it! We sold everything! I don't think I knew what success felt like! Next step, love! Maybe. I can hope. <laughs> Ron's ridiculous. Okay. Let's go over the numbers next. Okay guys, let's start with CEO Special Cargo. Now, a small crate CEO Special Cargo warehouse with 16 crates on single cash will pay out $240,000. So if you do the math on that, on double cash will pay out $480,000. Now that's assuming that you've paid for all of your crates by doing CEO VIP work or payphone hits or some other way to pay for your crates. Next, let's talk about the air freight cargo cell mission that we just completed. Now, remember, that was a total of eight crates for $160,000 minus Ron's cut, which gave us a grand total of $156,000. So, let's assume for a second that we sold a total of 16 crates. That would have given us a grand total of $312,000. Okay, now the sale mission was relatively easy. It wasn't difficult at all. However, when you compare the sale of CEO Special Cargo with the sale of Air Freight Cargo, the time to money ratio with respect to the amount of time required to source a single crate at a time 
for air freight cargo when compared to CEO special cargo when you can source up to three crates at a time, the time to money ratio is just not there. And in my opinion, CEO special cargo, based on the numbers alone, CEO special cargo sell missions are far more profitable. So the air freight cargo businesses are not worth it in 2022. Now, to be fair, the source missions and sale missions can be pretty fun if you're playing with other players, but as far as profitability is concerned, not so much. The CEO Special Cargo Warehouse sell missions are far more profitable, so th that's just my opinion on that, but I want you guys to tell me what you think about air freight sale missions in the comments down below. Do you like them? Do you think they're worth it on double money? Sound off down in the comments. Let's have a discussion about this. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, coming to you with another Is It Worth It video. So if you found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.